Hello, this is John Spink, Director of the Food Fraud Initiative at Michigan State University and an Assistant Professor in the College of Veterinary Medicine. And welcome to our Food Fraud Tabletop Exercise. This is titled Something's Fishy, and it's in uh, a grant deliverable from the FDA's Innovative Food Defense Program, IFDP. This pilot exercise was originally conducted on June 18th, 2013, and it's been updated September 12th, 2016 and will be updated ongoing. This is first just an overview of the entire exercise before we get into the actual activity. First off, just a little bit of background. This was a grant that was um, awarded from the FDA to the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. The Michigan State University, our food fraud initiative was a subcontract. The principal investigator was Brad Deacon from MDARD, He's the Emergency Management and Administrative Law Coordinator. He's been a point person and coordinator leader for the state of Michigan in food defense and food protection. It does now include food fraud. And I'm John Spink, Director of Food Fraud Initiative. Our research area is food fraud policy and strategy, broadening to all fields uh, such as risk, supply chain, assessment, um, and management. And Doug Moyer is a colleague from the Food Fraud Initiative, also an assistant in the public health program at Michigan State, he brings broad uh, insights and information on the grant. Now, this overall program was a part of the freebie uh, program and activities in FDA. Here's a link to that activity and it's the food related emergency exercise bundle. This is training that's uh, developed to uh, offer to uh, anybody for uh, support in developing their food defense program. And on the right is a video that you can access from the FDA. So our freebie was a system we developed that had a couple of deliver points. And one was a system called the manual, which is a presentation of supporting information itself. So someone can pick this up, uh, learn about the process and managing the tabletop exercise, whether it's physical or online. Um, and it also includes a presentation. So you have something in this presentation uh, to use, and then we create the videos to uh, support. This helps because there's so many areas where you'd like to have someone tell you the introduction. And also, um, there's so many parts of this food fraud where you may not feel that you know it all. So we put together the different sections, and some of those uh, sections will update on a more frequent basis as more information is provided. Part of the uh, deliverable was to conduct a pilot exercise, and we did that first with 72 participants in Lansing, Michigan, and also online with a team from the University of Minnesota Department of Agriculture and the NCFPD. That was done by online and phone. Um, and we had representatives from federal, state, local, industry, academia, and that included enforcement, public health, regulators. And then we did follow up with uh, additional table talk exercises conducted at the Teton Annual Conference and the Neha Annual Conference. Again, we've introduced ourselves. Um, in the overall process, we, we recommend uh, 30 minutes to introduce your team and then the people around the room. To review the overall agenda, then what we've got is the time for registration and refreshment. Uh, this is Mr. Welcome. At this point, we would recommend that you pause this and then conduct those um, over or those uh, introductions now around the room. Once you've conducted those overall uh, introductions and talked about the day, We'll then move on and present to you a pre-incident. This will be some basics and background on the incident itself. We'll have a break, and then there's time for the small groups at table to conduct the exercise, which is to look at the questions itself themselves and to share those questions with the broad group. Then we'll move on to module two, which is early incident. We'll provide more information for you, and then you'll be able to go through a similar set of questions for the exercise and then recap again. Then we've got time scheduled for lunch. And after lunch, we'll start with module three, which is an overview and introduction to late incident and aftermath. So we'll provide new information, more information for you. And then again, you'll spend the time to conduct the exercise and then share the recap with the overall group and take a break. And then module four is the aftermath. We'll discuss more things about how about the operations and activity, and then take the time to uh, conduct the exercise and provide a recap. And then finally, we'll end with evaluation and closing comments. Introduction, logistics and administrative. As you're going through the day here, it's important to talk about things of safety and comfort, such as the exit. So look around.
around to see where there are fire exits. Um, also to probably set a place for gathering. Um, if you do have to exit the building, also for any other um, um, storm or other dangers where you may have to um, uh, um, secure yourself in place of where you might go and also to look for restrooms. Name tags. So we feel it's important to have name tags because there's some people that you might know or you've known so long but you forgot their first name and that's uncomfortable. So if you have name tags, then it really does help the communication between the groups. Also interesting to put on the tags is the, um, the area that people work in, whether it's enforcement, regulatory, academia, industry, or other. Primary participant groups. So again, we talk about things like regulatory, enforcement, industry, and different parts of industry. It'd be interesting now to have you know, the groups introduce themselves so that we understand uh, if there is, say, a leader of, uh, for enforcement, that they can uh, talk a little bit about this topic and the activities. So the funding uh, was uh, provided to, for the development and piloting of this training exercise, and it was made possible by FDA. So thank you, FDA. And there's details of the program and the grant. With that, conduct the introductions, um, point out things like the safety and uh, comfort, and then move on to the next video.